And he said, well, when do you think you'd want to launch it? And I think this was in April. And I said, well, it should be good for a Christmas launch. And he said, so Christmas of the following year. Yeah. I said, no, Christmas of this year. So Eddie, Eddie was sitting in my office and I said, you got to get this down in writing. And he said, well, I've already done a book. And I said, yeah, that was 10, 20 years ago. And I said, you know, you got to stay relevant. And he said, well, I'm, I'm all for it. Let's do it. Yeah. And I said, well, um, I don't write books, but I, I'll, I'll finance and publish it. And I don't know. I mean, I've done books before, but they were all pre-sold to Live Nation. Sure. Like There's, the gifting books that yeah, we talked about yeah. in an earlier episode. Yeah. But I said, I don't know much about it, but I'll figure that out. Uh, but we need somebody to write it. And then I thought about, I just uh, talked to a good friend of mine who was on the podcast before, Ken Reed. Right. And episode I phoned two. him up and I said, uh, you interested in writing a book about Eddie Shack? He wants to do a book. And he said, I'm in immediately. Yeah. yeah. Didn't ask about money. Didn't ask about anything. He just says, I'm in. I'm, I want to do this book. And so Ken was in and he said, well, when do you think you'd want to launch it? And I think this was in April. And I said, well, I think we, it should be good for a Christmas launch. And he said, so Christmas of the following year. Yeah. I said, no, Christmas of this year. Yeah. I said, Brian, it's April. We haven't started. <laughs> he says, y- you have no idea because Ken's published three or four books anyways. He says, it'll take a year and a half to get into the into play. I said, no, no, I don't want to wait that long. We're going to launch it in November. Can you do it? He says, if, if you think you can publish it, I'll do my best to write it. I got to clear the slate of other things that I'm doing. I said, okay. So we get, we get Ken to start writing the book. I, I think it's important to note that one of the only reasons he agreed to a timeline this significant like, yep. was because of his respect and love for Eddie Shack, yep. knowing the stories that he was going to get to tell. Eddie has, well, we'll, we'll go into some of that, but the bottom line was we decided to do the book. We set the target goal for November. Uh, I had Richard McCork, who was a, a good friend of mine, a, an amazing um, uh, creative layout that he did he he designed the concept of the book which is co- cross between a coffee table mm-hmm. book and a and and a and a story of of eddie's yep. career and so it's a really good combination and and uh, uh, richard came up with the concept of having eddie tell a story and then it you know sometimes his recollection wasn't that good um you, you know he's getting up in age so We'd ask his wife, and and so there were little sticky notes on different stories, like it would look like a sticky note sure. that was printed on the page. What Norma said, Norma right. being his wife, and she would say, "No, Eddie, Eddie yeah. was he he saw it that way, but it was totally wrong." And and so she would correct wherever Eddie went off track. And that was that was a great uh, oh clear the track yeah, there yeah, goes Shaq. Exactly. Uh, the, the 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 best way to put that is like if you. Uh, if you've ever seen pop-up video, like the old uh, Much Music or MTV thing where, you know, something is happening and you get a little pop-up and it's like, well, actually the way that this was filmed was blah, blah, blah. Because right. Eddie starts to, like the movie Big Fish, just kind of reimagine the stories right. in his own head. So it was it's a really neat uh, uh, method of clarifying what could have been hyperbole and is instead just Norma bringing things back down to earth. Thank you so much for watching this clip of The Sign Off, a Frameworth podcast. Just a reminder that we have full episodes of The Sign Off available wherever you get your podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. Make sure to like and subscribe on whichever platform you use. You can find us on Twitter at Frameworth Sport or on Instagram at Frameworth Sports. And hey, if you're not sick of me yet, you can find me on Twitter at Retrograde Mikey. Finally, feel free to send us emails with your questions you want us to answer on the show, and we may feature you live. You can do that by sending your emails to signoffpod at frameworth.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you with a new episode every single Thursday.